name is Tessa Asquith Lamb and I'm an artist. I work for the City Arts Centre and other venues, delivering workshops and also working on the Visually Impaired programme. Today I'm going to be showing you how to produce a painting inspired by the work of Edward Atkinson Hornell, whose sunny light-filled paintings flicker with life and often include images of children amongst woodland and the countryside. To begin with today we'll talk about the materials. I'm using acrylics, of course Hornell would have used oil paint, but acrylics um, are something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with and that you might find a little bit easier to start with. I've got my water pot, I've got my brushes, I've got a variety of brushes here. I've got some square-ended brushes and some little detail brushes. I've also got a palette knife, like this, and my paints and everything's set up here. I'm working today on these acrylic painting panels rather than canvases. They have a canvas surface and they're ready primed and they're quite nice to work on if you don't like the springiness that canvas has. They give you a bit more of a solid base and they're really convenient to use. When you get them they're this really really glaring white colour which you really need to get rid of before you start painting. And you would do that by laying a layer on called an imprimatura or base layer. And artists do this to get rid of that whiteness and also provide a base layer which will shine through the other colours. Hornell used a kind of buff colour on a lot of his paintings. I've done a kind of grey buff colour here as my background layer and I've started to sketch in my landscape with my figure down here at the bottom. And in common with Hornell, I'm using patched together images from photographs. So I'm using this image I took of the woodland and there's a really really nice bright patch of sunny sky here in the middle and the trees arch up around that and form a nice frame and you've got this mysterious dark area down the bottom there's a sense of a horizon so this is quite a nice sort of composition to start with and then for my figure I'm using this image of me when I was about 10 years old in the back garden playing with a mangle and I thought this is a nice one to use because I've got this kind of light shining on my hair and my smiley face and my little white collar reminded me of those girls in Hornell's paintings. So what I've done, I've sketched in the strongest of these trees. I've got larger trees here and then as you can see there's a sense of distance going back here. And then I've added in the image of the girl and rather than just have her straight on like this, I've tilted the image so she's slightly twisted. And doing that brings the eye into the picture. And also it reminds you of the way that Hornell is using images of girls that have almost like a dance-like pose. So they're tilted over like this. To sketch this in, I've used um, not just pure black, it's black with a little bit of burnt umber in it. And I've put quite a lot of water in so that when I move my brush, it's not dragging, it's fluid to use. So I've mixed up my black and I'm just sketching in my trees like this and I've sketched in the girl's face here very loosely everything's really loose at this point and I'm using my wrist and flicking like this a good tip when you're doing the trees is to not go down from the branches like this but start at the trunk and go out towards the twiggy bits and that will make sure that as your brush leaves the canvas surface you've got a lovely fine twiggy line that immediately gives you a nice sort of feeling of the branches at the top. So that's my kind of first layer. I've blocked in a bit of the dark shadows here just to give me a, a sort of base layer to work on. So we'll move on to my next stage. So you can see that quite a lot has changed already. I've started getting some colour in, which is the really exciting part. And I've mixed quite a dark green and I'm using quite a broad brush at this stage. So this is the brush that I'm using, quite wide. And I've blocked in these dark tones. And a trick when you're doing this is to look at your picture and half squint your eyes at it and what that will do is get rid of a lot of the detail and just show you the real darks and lights and that will help you so when I do that I look at this picture it's really dark down here where you'd expect it to be deep in the woodland and then you've got lighter areas at the top but still some darkness within the tree canopy so I'm putting in that darkness around here and I'm using these broad strokes 
and then doing big sort of squarish brush strokes up at the top which is giving me that darkness and I'm also starting to get that flickering paint surface that you get in the Hornells so I've really put in those dark tones there's some softer greys I've put in here as well because soon I'm going to be putting in that bright patch of sky which is going to go right in the middle here I've started to work on the face as well you can see that I've brought in some tones on top of that background layer and I've put in the shadows under here again when you squint at this painting you realize that the darkest tones around the face are actually sort of down here under my chin really sort of framing the face there's a sort of darker bit of hair there and then this is really really bright white down here so I want to keep that kind of light I've also started to bring in some of the skin tones at this stage just blocking them in and I'll add some more detail later on so it's really starting to come to life and it, I actually really like it at this stage when it's really sort of flickering and alive there's something sort of enjoyable about fiddling around with all these layers this is quite different from the way I would normally work it's it's much looser and I'm, I'm enjoying the kind of freedom of moving these colored patches around in the picture okay so you ready for the next one this is when it's really changed so as you can see this is much more worked and it's quite a leap from that last one you can see I've got this flickering light all over here and I've used a much much smaller brush and I'll tell you how I worked up to this level first of all I put in that patch of blue sky now you can see here on the painting how the tree comes across that blue sky I dabbed in really intense blue that had been mixed with white it's not completely pure blue and I used an ultramarine mixed with white for that part I'll bring that in there and then I used a bright white dabbed in here for the cloud and what you can actually do is if you get your finger which is actually really quite useful you can dab a little bit in here and just soften it soften that edge of things and your fingers are quite useful when you're doing this kind of painting and then what I've done on top of that I've got my brush and I've worked the greens of the trees over the top of that really intense brightness so I've actually put in some of these greens over the top of the intense blue sky and it gives you that lovely idea of looking through to that intensity up at the top really beautiful I've even put some blue at the top here when you've got your blue paint I notice there's a little blue patch of sky and it's nice just to dab a little bit of that up there so your eye moves around the painting I've also got the same flickering light that's going on up here is going on in this figure it's really sort of shimmering and moving about and I've really sort of worked into this face Hornell's paintings flicker all over with these beautiful brush strokes he does spend a long time on the face that's much longer than I've spent on this one really really working into them and even though they still have that softness you can tell he's spent really quite a long time working into these faces I've even got my little fine brush again back in that kind of black and brown mix and redrawn back into these shapes around her face just little details and if you use the very very tip of the brush you can really get a very very fine line and flicker it across the surface at this stage you might want to have a go with the palette knife as well which is something that artists like to use it gives you a kind of way of applying this really really thick paint I would say don't go for pure white straight away go for a kind of off-white and work up to the pure white and just sort of use it to highlight maybe some of the little flickering lights in the branches or the edge of her hair here add some little highlights maybe on that collar so it's really kind of flickering and coming to light and I think this kind of painting you can really work on it for a very very long time and you've got to choose that moment when you stop so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these paintings with me today and maybe you'll have a go 
at putting together a landscape and figure painting of, of your own and try out something inspired by Hornell's beautiful painting.